Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is a wedding series video, so for all you bride-to-be's, put on your veil and let's get the show on the road. So this video, if you can't tell the title of it, is the do's and don'ts of wedding planning. And I wish I would've listened to people who told me these things and I didn't listen because I was like, oh, I know everything, which guess what? I don't know everything and I really should have listened. So, um, some of these are kind of like gonna go together. So I'm gonna say the do's and then the don'ts and then kind of explain each kind of thing together, I guess if that makes sense. So the first things of do's is pick bridesmaids that you like. Do not pick pe like the people, like your bridesmaids. Do not pick them because you feel obligated to pick them. Pick them because they've seen you at your worst and still supported you. They help you try to achieve new things. They're always excited for you. Like pay attention to who's happy for you when you're happy for yourself and pay attention to who supports you when you're feeling down and negative about yourself. That is like my biggest, biggest thing. Like you do not want people who do not support you and your significant other at like they're standing up there because remember that those pictures, like there's gonna be pictures and those are gonna be the wedding pictures that you look at for the rest of your life. Like pick people who you do not feel obligated to pick. Pick the people who truly 100% support you and only want the best for you. Um, do what you want. Do not please other people. It is your wedding day, not theirs. Do not pick a dress to please somebody else. Do not pick a venue to please somebody else. Do not pick a theme or like decorations to please somebody else. Like do what you want. If you want um, a six tier cake, then get a six tier cake. If you want a small cake and a bunch of mini cupcakes for everybody else, then do that. Do whatever makes you happy. Do not try to please everybody because not everybody is gonna be happy. Be happy. Um, if you don't wanna serve dinner, then don't serve dinner. Serve like um, a cocktail hour thing with like, um, a really big thing now is it was like cheese and cracker boards. What are those called? I don't, I can't even think what they're called. But you have like the cheese, the crackers, like little finger foods. If you want to serve that, then serve a crap ton of that. If you don't want to have a caterer, don't have a caterer. Um, have friends and family help you cook the food. Like do whatever makes you happy. Don't try to please everybody else. Because like I said, it's not their day. It's yours and your significant others. And you guys are the two people that matter. Like who cares if nobody else is happy besides you two. Like that's all that matters. That is 110% all that matters. If you need help, ask for it. If you need help picking flowers, ask for it. If you need help making your own decorations, ask for it. Um... I will say just because you ask for it doesn't mean you're gonna get it but ask for help do not be the person that does not ask for help and then complains about not getting any help you can complain about not getting help if you ask for help and they don't help you you can put you can complain then but you cannot complain if you don't ask for help um dues stick to your budget that means if you have a budget of only two thousand dollars for your venue then you only have two thousand dollars for your venue you can't spend the actual extra um two hundred because that's what it costs like you you have to stick to your budget because now you've taken two hundred dollars from your floral and now you not know, all of your bridesmaids have a bouquet or now you don't have the bouquet that you want like you have to stick to your budget like as much as you can otherwise nothing is going to be the way that you want it um do get your this is coming from like personal experience as well as working at a bridal shop you need to get your dress like six to eight months in advance and people do not realize that and do not have a budget of two hundred dollars unless you go to david's bridal you are not going to find a dress for two hundred dollars i promise I swear, I'll walk like it. My store has dresses for $200. But there are clearance, clearance out because they've been discontinued. So if you have a very specific look that you're looking for, like 
if you want lacy and long sleeves, you're looking at at least a thousand dollars. Saying that working from a, at a bridal shop. If you want strapless plain, you could probably find one five to eight hundred dollars. Um, if you want that, I call it like the '90s, but like early 2000s with like the lots of ruffles and stuff. That is one you're gonna get for like two to three hundred dollars. But you in, cannot go in bridal sh like to a bridal shop looking for a very specific kind of dress and only have a budget of $200. That's like my biggest pet peeve when people come in. And also, you cannot come in with that kind of budget, that kind of specific style, and then tell me that your um, wedding is in two months. Like, no. There are only, at this, my store where I work, there are only two designers that we can order in in that amount of time and that is only if the dress is in stock so if you go in with this very specific budget and say you end up being a size two and they don't have a size two in stock well then sorry honey and also you want to make sure you have enough time to get your dress altered and 99 percent of dresses do not come bustled which means you have to take the dress to an alterations lady or place in general and get it bustled and some people just do not understand that um so get your dress six to eight months in advance you would rather have it be there too soon than not soon enough because I hate absolutely hate when I have to tell a bride I'm sorry but the dress that you just absolutely fell in love with is not going to be here in time for your wedding like how awful is that it's actually like heartbreaking for me. Like I hate having to tell people that. So pick a dress. I mean, go dress shopping six to eight months before your wedding or even like before that. But like the deadline is like six to eight months because you don't know how long alterations are going to take. You don't know how long the dress is going to take to come in. And most places let you do like a payment plan for your dress. So you don't have to straight spit out $1,500 for a dress. You can pay half to order it and then $100 each month until you're ready to until it comes in and you take it so think smart don't Don't be like the people that I have that come into my work um Last thing on the do's is eat your food. I Had maybe two jalapeno poppers for my wedding and that's all I got to eat take time to sit down and eat like no matter how much you want to get up and have fun, you need to eat. Like, me and Tucker were the first people to go get our plates. And so we went and got our plates, and then I, like, started scarfing food down. And by scarfing food down, I mean eating two jalapenos. And then um, I felt like I was going to get sick. So I went outside and then came back in. And by the time I came back in, like, everybody was, like, trying to, like, have fun and party and dance. And I didn't get to eat. And by the time I went back to eat, my plate had been picked up, and I didn't get any of it. So that was very unfortunate. Okay don't this is like the don't list now is don't pick people that you feel obligated to pick which i've already that kind of goes back to the whole pick the bridesmaids that you like thing um do not let people call you a bridezilla it is your day and you're hopefully only getting married once to the person that you're going to spend the rest of your life with you get to pick and choose and be as picky and choosy and obnoxious as you'd like it is your day i everybody called me a bridezilla and i was like i'm really not i asked for like top like five or six things specific not even from like each specific person just like in general and that's it and people called me a bride a bridezilla i was like so just don't let people call you a bridezilla. It is your day. You get to pick and choose and be as picky and choosy and needy. And if you don't, just, you get to be a bridezilla, but don't let people call you a bridezilla. It is your day. You get to pick and choose and do what you want. Um, on the only last thing on my don't list is do not try to please everybody, which that kind of goes back to, um, doing what you want like don't try to please everybody like i said you're not going to make everybody happy the only people's happiness that matters is you and your groom um also if 
like this kind of goes back like for like doing what you want if you have like parents or grandparents or like people in general general that are like giving you like money to help with your wedding budget do not let them be like well i paid for this well i paid for this so i want this to be like this like no they gifted you that money for you to make your dream wedding come true and if your dream wedding is not what their vision of your wedding is is then screw them it's your day and do what makes you happy and do what you want uh and that's the last thing i have i just said, said do what makes you happy like i know i keep saying this but it's your day do what you want who cares what everybody else thinks um it's not gonna matter in three years anyways it's not gonna matter in 10 years it's your day and as long as you and your significant other are happy then who the heck cares like as a bride like if i was a bridesmaid and you told me um we're gonna be wearing heels while walking through the mud then heck yeah i'm wearing heels i'm walking through the mud like don't let bridesmaids um parents coordinators like don't let people pick and choose what you get to do and what you don't get to do it should not be that way um but overall i think that's it for this video i think i got my point across um if you're not already subscribed to my channel click the like like button turn on those post notifications and i hope this helped one of you bride to bees um and until then i will see you guys in the next one